everybody, Susan Rashawn here, The Techie Manor. Thanks for coming back to my YouTube channel called The Virtual Assistant Tips, Tricks, and Advice, where I share all things virtual assistants every week with zero fluff, just the stuff that gets results. And today, today's video is really about what to, to watch out for when you're starting your virtual assistant business, because there's a lot of noise out there, whether it's on social media or wherever you might be looking. Um, I just wanna give you some advice um, that I've seen that is being taught in uh, the industry that I disagree with, that I think is bad advice, and so just things I think that you should uh, really watch out for. So I have my checklist. You might see me looking at that as I go through here because I want to make sure that I'm talking about everything that I feel is so, so important. I think the first one that I, I really am uh, passionate about is the one where people are teaching their students and others that if they're don't know what to price or they're struggling to find uh, a price per hour to start at $25 an hour. Excuse me, but that's bad advice because how can anybody understand what your baseline rate is? If I was to have charged $25 an hour, I'd have gone out of business. So here's the point is that not everybody has the same rate. They should not be charging the same rate because we all have a different lifestyle that we're trying to achieve. And why would you charge less then you need to earn a great living. $25 was half of what I should have been charging. I should be charging $50 an hour. So please don't take advice from somebody giving you a specific rate to charge per hour for your business. If you don't wanna do the work, that's fine. But you really need to understand that it takes work to build a successful business. It's not easy, it's not. So if you want to be successful, you have to do the work. And the first one you need to do is figure out what you need to earn. You need to know what your minimum baseline rate is. I have an entire video series on how to do this, as well as a blog post, and I have a free spreadsheet that you can use to help you figure out what you should be charging. You never charge below your baseline rate because then you're struggling to make a living and your business isn't going to be successful. You have to earn a profit. You have to earn a living to quit your soul-sucking job. So please do not take advice from people who want to give you a specific dollar figure to charge. Now, if you've had a conversation and they know what you need to earn, different. But if you're just looking for someone to tell you what rate to charge, do the work and figure out what it is for you because this is not a cookie cutter industry. It's not. It's not one size fits all. So please, once again, as I said, I'm very passionate about this because I've seen people struggle to make a living because they're not charging enough. You know what you need to charge. I had to replace a six figure income. So $25 an hour was not going to work for me. Do the work, find out what works for you. That is the minimum you should charge for anything that you should do. And if you wanna make more money, then charge more because there are business coaches that make $100 an hour, business coaches that make $50,000 an hour, and guess what? They both have clients. Believe in your worth. Okay, so that's the one that I'm really passionate about. So obviously you can see that. Another one I'm passionate about is, is believing that you need to have a certification in order to succeed. There, first of all, there is no standardized VA certification. There is no global industry that governs all VAs. There's not. So there's no industry recognized certification for virtual assistants. Now there are trainers that have their own certification program, fine and dandy, just realize it's not industry wide, right? You don't need one to be successful and guess what? It doesn't make things any easier. You still need to do the work, okay? So it's not required, but it's certainly something you can get if it's something that's important to you, but it is not required to be successful. So that's number two. Um, the fake it till you make it strategy. Hear me out on this one. Now, when we start our business, we all start at zero. So I've also seen marketing things that say, hey, start your business with no experience. Well, we all started with no experience. I've never been a VA before. You probably haven't either. 99% of us start with no experience. That's nothing new. <laughs> the fake it till you make it strategy. Um, what I'm talking about here is, is is telling clients you know one thing when you really don't. It's all about honesty and transparency because you're a service professional. You need to be honest and ethical with your clients. If you don't know something, tell them. I learned more tools because I would tell my clients, well, I don't know that one. They're like, okay, let's learn it together. And I'm like, great. The reason I bring this up is because unfortunately in this industry, there are people 
excuse me, who will tell clients what they want to hear, take their money and run away. That affects all of us because then we have clients with trust issues and nobody wants to deal with clients with trust issue because it's an uphill battle, right? You have to repair that relationship even though you had nothing to do with damaging it in the first place. So make sure you're honest, make sure that you tell clients you don't know something and let them know that you're willing to, to do the work to learn whatever it is. Let's bring me to the next one, which is work for free. Not an advocate of working for free. You should not work for free because you are a service professional. That's how we make a living, right? Charge something. Don't barter because somebody's usually on the losing end of that. Don't barter. Charge something. You have to believe in yourself and you have to, um, you have, to have self-worth before someone's going to look at you and go, okay, they really are worthy and they really need to be paid for what I'm asking them to do, okay? If you don't value yourself, nobody else is going to value yourself. So you have to start there, right? Start there. So charge something, charge a launch rate, a flash sale, um, a, a startup rate, but charge something because if you don't, you have a whole value issue. You also set up expectations a lot of times with clients who feel they can negotiate your rate. Your rate is non-negotiable because if you make less than your baseline rate, like I talked about earlier, you're gonna be struggling to make a living and who wants to do that, right? Okay, so we talked about VA certifications, we talked about um, you know, just slapping a number on um, your hourly rate, you need to know what that baseline rate is. We talked about VA certifications, we talked about um, working for free, and forgive me if I'm repeating myself, I'm trying not to look at my list here. <laughs> um, one of the other things um, that I see, I mentioned um, a marketing thing about, you know, start your VA business with zero experience. Well, we all start with zero experience. The other thing I see is, um, you know, learn to be a VA and, and earn $5,000 in 30 days, okay? That doesn't work either. Nobody can guarantee how much money you're gonna make because you're the one that has to do the work. It's a marketing ploy, okay? So what you need to realize is that maybe there are people that can make $30,000 in, not 30,000, excuse me, $1,000 or $5,000 in 30 days, maybe even $30,000. But they're the exception, not the rule. 99% of us have to work hard to get to the point where we're making $5,000 a month. My point to you is, is realize that building a business is not easy. It's hard, it takes hard work, but if you want it bad enough, you're gonna figure out how to do it. None of us started with experience. None of us started off making $5,000 a month. We had to build to that over time. But there are people who probably can do that. They're the exception, not the rule. So don't compare yourself to others. Stay in your lane, focus on what you have to do. A couple other things to watch out for um, is, you know, looking at the person that you're going to be buying training or coaching from. How long have they been in business? Realize that it's a very high percentage of businesses that fail in the first year. It's even higher over five years. You want somebody who's gonna teach you how to build a business that has no fluff, that it actually has nuts and bolts and their strategies behind what they're teaching. Ask for testimonials. Do they have a refund policy, right? Ask others what they're teaching because more and more I'm seeing new people that have only been in business a year, sometimes even less, teaching people how to be a VA. Well, they haven't been in business long enough to be successful in my opinion. They need a little more experience. I mean, think about this. If you were a doctor and going to medical school to learn how to be a full-blown doctor, would you wanna take medical advice or training from somebody who was in the same class as you were? Or maybe was a year ahead of you? No, you want somebody who's been experienced and has gone through mistakes and understands the industry and what it takes. Now, I'm obviously not the only one. There's lots of good um, VA coaches and trainers out there. Just do your due diligence so you really understand what it is that you're getting for your investment and is this person going to teach you something of value or is it just a bunch of fluff? Because fluff isn't gonna get you be, to be successful. It's really gonna be, um, you really need to learn the strategies and the systems that are going to support you as a successful business owner. So I'm gonna peek at my list here, as I said. Um, just to make sure that I have everything. Oh, I know, here's the other one I forgot. Um, it's easy, anybody can be a VA. I'm sorry, but that's not true either. It's not for everybody, right? Like I wouldn't wanna be a doctor. I know it's hard work, but I'm not interested in that. You have to really want this because it is work. It does take time. 
it's not something you can do in a weekend or 30 days. It does take time. Now, remember, there's always exceptions to the rule, but most of us have to take the time and effort to make our business successful so we can leave our soul-sucking job. Okay, hold on. Let me look at another. Um, I talked about, oh, how to start your business with no money. That's another one I see. And sure you can, but realize that you're gonna need money to invest in some really simple things. You, you, you need a computer if you don't have one. There are also licensing fees, depending on where you're located, that you're gonna have to pay for. So make sure that you understand what the minimum is. Now you could probably do pretty well for $1,000 and less. Um, you don't need to spend $1,000 on a, on a class to teach you how to be a VA, I don't think. Um, and here's the other thing is, just because it's expensive doesn't mean it's good. And just because it's inexpensive doesn't mean it's not. That's why I say do, do your due diligence. Really, do your due diligence. And just because you pay more for something doesn't mean it's easier either, okay? So hopefully you've found some, <laughs> some, some maybe tips or tricks or some ideas or something to look out for um, in my video. But really, this is just trying to be helpful. I know there are people who won't agree with me and that's perfectly fine. But really trying to help you look at um, kind of the minefield that can be um, out there when you're trying to build your VA business because it does take a lot of work. You get overwhelmed, you struggle, and a lot of times people will dangle a carrot to make it sound like it's really easy if you buy their program or buy their course and really sit back and think about, okay, I need to do the due diligence. Will I really get out of this program what I need? And don't necessarily look at, at um, the marketing because that's what marketing is for, right? Okay, so if you've enjoyed this video, I invite you to subscribe. As I said, I... Um, put out videos every week. As I said, I'm pretty much no fluff. I'm gonna tell you like it is. Um, I'd love to hear from you. If you have other things that you have come across that um, you'd like to share those experiences, please feel free to comment below and I will see you guys next week. Thanks for your time, bye.